Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to A Punched Out Thursday to Die For with Kathy, Krista, myself, and Dorothy. And we will all be using either our punches and or dies to help create our layout. I'm going to scrap these pictures, and I did a close-up of the boys. That's a couple of my grandsons. Just because they were kind of hard to see if I didn't. And I wanted to show how Casey was hanging on for dear life. He might have enjoyed the ride a little bit more if he could have had something to lean against like everybody else did. A couple of the kids, including his little brother and a little girl, were leaning against him. And he was worried he was going to fall out. I thought I'd use some gray cardstock and create a little elephant and I was thinking of Horton who here's a who I believe it is is what it's called Horton here's a who that's it I was thinking of him when I was making it because his eyes had so much expression not that mine's going to have quite as much but they're going to be big his wasn't big all the time but sometimes they seemed bigger than others so I'm going to over-exaggerate the size of his eyes. I thought about making them smaller. I really considered it. But then I thought, well, he would be awful cute if he had some big eyes. And usually I have him looking towards the picture, and I decided this time I wasn't. I was going to have him, like, rolling his eyes, waiting to play his drums, because he is going to be playing a drum. Now there's two ornament dies in that uh, die set that is shaped like this and one's quite a bit bigger but I used the smaller one because I wasn't going for Dumbo not in this layout anyway I was going more for Horton and I probably should have went and got my iPad so I would be more on spot for it but I decided just to go ahead and keep creating instead of stopping I had to use my creative memories cutter for his the oval for his head and then the, I believe it was the largest oval for the body. And yeah, I think that's how it was. And um, I wanted his head to be fat enough to hold those eyeballs. <laughs> is why I went for that oval. The other one was kind of on the skinny side. But I saved it for his trunk. I am inking everything with that Studio G ink. And I'm also using, um, it's a Chamel gray marker. And it's darker gray than the last one I had. The last one I ran, had dried out super, super quick, less than six months. And this one I might have had two years already. And so it's doing pretty decent, but it is darker. So I took the gray and went back over the top of that gray that I used to accent his trunk. So it wouldn't be quite as dark. I also pulled out my Studio G ink that's pink and did the inside of his ears and kind of went over the top of his trunk up around the top part of it just to give it a pink highlight since I didn't have no cheeks to get. And I did get some on one of his eyeballs and I considered taking it off and doing it again, but I went ahead and used a white gel pen on the white part and then a black pen for his black part on there so instead of it looking pink that it was black and white then i had stuff out to make two hands but one's going to be hid by the trunk anyway so i kind of just tucked it underneath there and one of the fingernails under there too i just made them a plain gray I didn't paint them or anything. They are just a dark gray. I was tempted to make it a girl, but then I thought, well, they are boys. All right, the elephant, so I guess I can make him a boy. And he is along the lines of Horton anyway. Well, kind of, sort of, a little bit. When I was doing a Christmas layout the other day, I was tempted to use this drum I had in my hand and everything. And I thought, hmm... I could save it for my layout with Horton and have him playing the drums. And I did, I was tempted just to make a drum, but that one is just so cute that I wanted to use it instead. And I put the drum sticks aside because I didn't think I'd be using them, but I'm going to pull them back and kind of put it in these little paw foot or whatever that is. 
since I have a lighter blue stripe on the layout, I thought, well, I want to use some darker blue to accent it. So I pulled out a sheet, and it's in a paper pad. It's color box. And so I cut the top trim off. It's perforated. And I decided I like that, and I kept it, and I am going to use it on the top of my layout. It is not very wide, but you can see that perforation really good along there. And I think it's a pretty good accent to it. And uh, I'm not th sure of the name of the punch that I use, the border punch. I've had a long time, but it made me think of circus. So I went ahead and used it. And I don't have any actual circus uh, collection or anything to use, but... I'm going to try to give the feel of a circus on my layout anyway, just a little bit. The stripe paper is Echo Park, and it's one of their, I think it's called Dots and Stripes. And you get a collection of it for base papers, I guess. And I'd gotten it in the warehouse box last year before Christmas, and I still have plenty, mostly because I didn't start using it till a couple of months ago, I needed a, I think it was a pink plaid or a yellow plaid, and I pulled it out, and I thought, why haven't I been using this? Oh, now I want to use it a lot. See, it did not take me long to decide that I needed those drumsticks. And yeah, I was going to save them for something else. I put them back in with the Christmas stuff, well, my ephemera for Christmas. Last year, I was running super low on paper, but I have plenty of it. Most of the time I use white for my viewfinder, but I decided to use red on this layout just to have something different. I debated between it and the dark blue, but I finally decided on the red. And it's not going to stay on the left. I have been planning on scrapping this picture for so long and hadn't done it, mostly because I wanted a close-up and I just kept putting off printing a close-up. But I did order a die set to use with it. And I have used it one other time with another picture from this day. But I, it was one of those impulse buys. <laughs> and I mean, I could have made the title without it. But it was just so cute. I went ahead and got it anyway. And it was a long time ago that I did it. But yeah, it's super cute title. It is under the big top, but what I liked so much about it was the hat. And you all know I could have made a hat to go on the bee. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. But yeah, I got it anyway. I thought, that is cute, and just click, and yeah, I got it. But when I was working overtime, I always felt like I was rewarding myself by spending a little bit of that money on something to go in my little scrappy area to use on my layouts and it did look bigger online <laughs> than it does in person but don't that viewfinder look cuter over there behind Horton than it did on the left hand side I was thinking what am I going to use for ephemera on here and I was trying to think of what I had so I decided field trip that it would have some stuff that I could probably use even though it wasn't circus oriented, but I could use it on my layout. Those three little tickets are perforated and I'm going to pull one off that says be chill. And then I'm gonna pull a sticker off there. It says, whoa, because I'm sure that's what was going through Casey's mind. And I thought, oh, that is awesome. I can use it on my layout. And as much as I liked that viewfinder up there, it's a little too big for where I was wanting to put it, so I'm going to use a little sticker that's smaller and put that one back for another day. And I mean the little gadget, <laughs> not the picture wheel part. And the reason I call it Viewfinder is because that's what it said on the packaging when I bought it. Even though the other part really is, well, I think it's Master Viewfinder. And then this one's the round part's a picture wheel. Oh, you all know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to use it and couldn't find a home for it. But the little teeny tiny one, I am going to be able to find a home for it. I don't know about y'all, but I've never rode an elephant. 
And the camera I had was, well, it was just an inexpensive one because this was right about the time I started scrapbooking. I wasn't taking the pictures to scrapbook them, I don't think. I think I was just taking them. But looking at Jake's age, yeah, I think it was right around the time I started scrapbooking. I pulled out my confetti star punch. Love, love, love that thing. If you all don't have a star punch, you should get one. They come in really handy, especially doing boys' pages. And I only punched it out twice, and I'm going to scatter the stars around the page. Now, I kept looking at Horton's head, and I kept thinking, now, first I thought a hat, you know, like a pointed hat like Dumbo has. And then I thought, no, I think they have like a little thing that comes to a point with a little bobble on the end. And so instead of a bobble, I used a tiny enamel dot and put a little red thing on his head. But that's it. That's my layout. Be sure to check the other gals out there down there below and see what they did with their dies and their punches today. One or the other or both. And I used both today. And yeah, see the look on his face. That's not really a smile. <laughs> but Jake is waving. And yeah, the um, field trip seemed to go pretty good with this. And there's my little Horton, and I put Living Legend since he's playing the drums, and I happen to see it over there on the sticker sheet. But thank you all so much for watching. And if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.